We all know solo rust can be brutal. Getting bully beat down by the big clans and better geared players, stealing all of your hard earned loot without batting an eyelid. Most of the time, firepower alone isn't enough to stand a chance against these groups. Sometimes you have to be creative and come up with devious ways to lure these players into a false sense of security. This is my solo story on a monthly server. I hope you enjoy it. Whoa, whoa, dude. <laughs> what? Man, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Rust console video. I'm playing solo today, and I don't really have any plans. Let's have a look at this map. I mean, I didn't have any plans, but <laughs> I need to check out this island, dude. That's for sure. I was kind of thinking that maybe this video would be the sequel to the loot shark, but after spawning in and seeing what is going on over there, I like I really need to go check that out. But yeah, no real plans for this wipe. Um, we're just gonna, you know, get a little base down. I think we're gonna, by the looks of it. We're going to be building out here somewhere where we can take uh, take oil rig and mess with this <laughs> mess with this group, hopefully. But yeah, let's just uh, get some cloth, get some bags down, try and get ourselves a, a little start here. The second I joined this monthly server, I noticed an entire island had been taken over by a clan, which immediately drew my interest. But shortly after, I was getting pestered by a naked on the beach when I stumbled across this absolute gold mine. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, oh my, uh, <laughs> oh no, I didn't see a dude, what, oh my god, man, are you kidding me, that guy just chased me into a fucking massive W. Holy. Holy. Okay, I gotta seal first. Can't look at loot. Fucking way, man. Holy shit, dude. Oh, man. Oh, man. This thing is loaded. I don't know what to do now. I think I want to still go check out that compound. To be honest. Holy shit, man. That thing is so big. Interesting. Man, I could live like right here. Look how many turrets they got. Oh, this is such an easy build in. Oh my god. Holy t 
turrets, man. Alright, we might come back to this a bit later. Not sure there's much I can do right now. You just die so fast when you go hazzy, man. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's terrifying. Ooh, Geo. No cannons. Not mad about it. <laughs> That's for sure. AK? Hell yeah. After successfully doing oil rig without any hiccups, I took some comps over to Harbour to recycle as I didn't have any blueprints on this server. Get home. It had been an interesting start, and I was having a good time just chilling, doing oil rig, and using some of the free gear that I'd scored from this decaying base. Over the next hour, I took rig another two times, and despite the server being half pop, I barely had any counters. Things were going smoothly, and in hindsight, probably a little bit too smoothly. No, <laughs> I got raided. Ah, you mother. What do you mean I got raided? What do you mean I got raided, dude? Man, I wasn't even here to see who it was. 
Well, we need to quickly put down a new base. That really sucks, man. I can almost guarantee I know who it was too. Freaking compound, man. I'd become complacent and was sitting on a gold mine of loot under a half decayed stone roof, leaving my base open to an easy rocket raid while I was gone at rig. It was time to find a new home and start this wipe from a more humble beginning. I managed to salvage some loot from the base, including a tier two workbench and put down a temporary one by one base only a hundred meters away. In the process of doing this, I'd heard a few satchels going off close by. So once I secured some loot, I headed over to check it out. That's some bullshit. It, it had to be them, man. It really has to be them. I think I'm gonna run custom because I don't really want to lose the uh, LR. Alright, we're gonna ro go out and like check out what's going on in this fight with these satchel charges, and then and then we have to make a base because that's a bit shit losing all that stuff. I, I was pretty loaded in that little rock base. Not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, this is it, I think. doing little bro oh man I whiff so bad on that first guy yeah, I got a farm I got yeah I got a farm All the green cards got taken, what? I had lost my green and blue cards during the raid and clearly hadn't learned my lesson as I was keen to hit up rig again before building a proper base. So I headed over to Lighthouse in search of a green card so I could score a blue card from the harbor puzzle. Oh wait, he's full metal, man. Wait, is he? Oh, I can't even know, man. I can't tell, was that like the green full metal kit? Like, I didn't pull up. I thought they were crossy initially. I was gonna like pull up. <laughs> that would've got destroyed. I think he is, man. Could have been loaded. Yes. Got the green. Let's go. Can he bled out? He might have bled out. I hit him twice.
I mean, I swear he was MP5, but... Surely this guy comes back. Different dude. Shit is kitted though, right. Bit of bud. Why do I know that name? Fuck, man. Uh, it's the worst time. The worst time to try and move the boat. Fuck. Ugh. That's my last four times, too. There's like three of them. I think one of them was that bit of bad dude coming over naked. They came from this island, man. Should I go? Should I try and like confirm that it's them? Because that's 100% who raided me. <laughs> That's where I'd seen his name, man. Of course this is them. I'd been dealt a swift reality check by this group that I couldn't just stroll in and control oil as a solo. This guy, Bitter Bud, I'd recognized his name, but wasn't sure where I'd seen it. I had a solid reason to believe they came from the island, with how quickly they'd come back after I killed him initially, and my suspicions would soon be confirmed. After this, I decided to be a pest for a while, and built a small decoy base inside their compound. The plan was to bait a raid and waste some of their explosives, and no doubt, within an hour of doing so, they'd raided both the base and the TC that I'd put down at their outer wall. Well, we're not raided, which is kind of good. <laughs> they raided. They raided that base, man. Hold up, I want to go check that out first. No way. <laughs> they raided it. I reckon they raided my DC. Wait, what the hell? They put down another layer of... <laughs> they did. Oh, they would have had to raid my TC to do it, too. I can see that my TC's been raided. Oh, my God. 
I was thinking to myself, man, like, these were definitely wooden walls before. Yeah, they, they really did. They really did raid. <laughs> raid my external TC. Oh, God. These guys must have so much boom. It is outrageous. Sorry, brother. <laughs> that is such unfortunate timing for that guy. Hey, yeah, this is stupid, man. We're gonna make a base. Let's make a base. Let's do that. Do I want a rock formation base? This is sick. Yeah, it's looking a bit cozy at the moment, but it will get better. After finally having a decent base to operate out of, I went back to oil rig for one last time before calling it for the night. Okay. Yep, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, damn, 40 high quality. Guys taking chopper again. Yeah, they're pretty good at getting it like right on their base. It's like right with my sleeping bag is. group but that's the fourth name I've seen I think I just wanted to get to that box and chuck a c4 that would have been nice <laughs> well doesn't seem like many bases are lasting the night around here so let's uh hope they're alive come daytime it had been a roller coaster day one for me on this server I was really hopeful I wouldn't be raided while I was offline and was keen to get into some PvP and progress to raiding the following day. As it turned out, this server would have more in store for me than what I could have imagined. I think we're good. Ah, uh, that's so good, man. So the plan for today is we're gonna start running, um, running rig a little bit more and I wanna get this base finished. So yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good day, man. It's gonna be a good day on rest. Might start the day off with a bit of building. This base is so cool, man. Uh, it's actually so cool. That has to be triangle. That has to be triangle. Oh, that that works. Square, square, triangle. This could be the jump up. Yeah, that's cool. And then we'll have uh, like a single door here. This will be storage. A 
This would be a cute little, cute little window. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. First time taking rig for day two was going well, and two it wasn't. Oh my god, man. He has to hit that headshot like right as I stop peeking, Are you kidding me? Man, that is so frustrating. Not much you can really do against that as a little solo. I decided to let off some steam by going out for a farm run. gonna go recycle down at harbor it's been a bit of a rough uh, rough morning so far to be honest so hopefully this goes a little bit smoother than that like I do really want to keep taking rig I just need like I think I need to be better better kitted M33 high quality? After that, I learned some useful items and then headed over to see what was happening at the island compound, which is where I'd find something I definitely wasn't expecting. Oh shit. <laughs> no way, they're getting raided. <laughs> that bloody time. Oh shit, they're raiding this base. Oh my god, this is so risky, man. I essentially have to hit a headshot on the dude on the roof. I wasn't a huge fan of the MGL PvP, but these guys invited me to a party and they were a son and dad duo and actually seemed pretty chill. The raid turned out to be one of their allies who'd been incited, so they weren't going to try and counter it. Yeah, what's the I story, do, I, man? What did we ever do to you? Jump in our compound, destroy one of our other DCs. I mean, I'm just coming to see what you got going on, you know? You know how it is. Yeah, oi, did you build a base there at C18? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know it. I thought it we was you it. because I said to my I said to my son here, I said, there's this dude, I'm a solo, he keeps jumping into the fing compound <laughs> and now he's built a base in 
obviously gonna live in here and jump in and out over the fan. I was thinking about it. <laughs> That's funny, I actually respect that. Yeah. Alright, mate, no okay. worries. Gotcha. Good on you. <laughs> uh, they're actually chill dudes, man. They're actually chill about it. It's like a dude and his son. That's kind of cool. After this interaction, I left these guys alone and moved on to focus on working towards a tier 3 workbench. I decided to mix things up and go for a longer run across the map to airfield in hope of scoring a red card. I can't get anything done, dude. Every time I go out to do something, I get distracted. Oh, that is close, though. Hey, we got crates. It was a long run home, so I headed down to the coast in search of a boat. But with none in sight, and not wanting to waste scrap buying a boat from Fishing Village, I continued on foot. God, how many are there? I'm out of ammo. Just need his ammo. I gotta go. Oh my fucking god, man. How oh my god. Why are you hanging around for so long? 
That's outrageous, man. <laughs> you just gotta run. I gotta get better at that. Getting out while I'm ahead. And I hit that naked twice. I thought he went down, but he did not. Uh, GG's, I guess. I'm just really sick of not having red card, you know? I need to build, I need a base where I can get red easily. Keep doing rig and only doing blue room. That seems kind of pointless. <laughs> There's not gonna be any scraps, man. It's all gonna be gone. Yeah, something. In classic Harvey's fashion, I'd hung around for too long and lost everything to a naked with a custom. The silver lining was that I found an area near airfield that would be perfect for getting not only a lot of scrap and comps, but also blue and red cards, so putting down a small base there could be really useful. But it'd be a while before I got around to doing this, and to be honest, I'm surprised I didn't quit the server after how the next hour or so of this wipe went for me. For real though, like, as a solo, you get one extra gun, like, you should get out of there. Get it, I gotta learn when to dip. Same dude! Oh my god. Get him. Ah, oh, no. Still there, man. Fuck, dude. He's definitely down there. Uh. Oh, man. I'm waiting this one out, man. I think we should put an airlock on, probably. This area was proving to be as good as I'd hoped for to progress. And then I saw that locked crate had been dropped off at dome. So I took a Tommy kit over to see if I could get it. Shit, do I dip with road sign? have the cavalry pulling up now. <laughs> uh. 
No, the time for dipping is long gone. Holy shit. That's so loud. I don't know how I'm getting out of this. Either go towards the roof campers or towards the shooting. Can have up so much on me. Fuck, there's two dudes camping down here. How do I even get out of it? Oh shit. Holy. Get me out of here, man. Get me home, dude. I <laughs> have so many guns. Yes. Ah, oh, he's done it. No way, man. We got three MP, four MP5s, three Tommies. Holy! <laughs> that was absolutely butt clenching stuff. That run went perfectly. I ended up with a bunch of guns, keycards, and almost 1,200 scrap after I recycled at Lighthouse on my way home. Home sweet home. I used the scrap to learn a few useful blueprints and then headed out for a farm run near Outpost. After that, I wanted to take Oyuri again in the hope of finding explosives. I'm out, dude. Damn, I needed to kill one as they were boarding. I whiffed so bad. Wasn't ready. I decided to get out as these guys were better kitted, and this was my only bolty which I hadn't yet researched. I was cool with taking the L for this one though. Until this happened. <laughs> Fuck that dude. Nah, I need to kill these guys now. Like, I, I was cool with it, I was just gonna bail. Are you gonna taunt me like that? Nah, 
No, nah, man. That's not happening. This guy that had taunted me after bailing from Rick really struck a nerve. But even though they had me outnumbered and outgeared, I immediately felt a trap brewing. When I was farming near Outpost before, I'd noticed this rib just off the shore on one of the coasts close to the rig. These guys were giving me serious bully vibes, so all I had to do was set up something to draw their attention and wait for them to return after finishing oil rig. It was a rib up this way. These guys might have taken the rib if they have then I imagine they'll pull up in a similar position. A lot of things had to go right to pull this off, but I was hopeful. Unfortunately, I stopped recording to look back on some footage and forgot to press record again, but luckily I managed to save the footage on Xbox Capture. The plan was simple. I'd play right into their bully mentality by building a wooden base with a twig doorway right on the coast where I thought they might pull up with the rib. If all went well, they'd come to destroy it and I'd have a chance to jump them for all of their loot while they were distracted. So with the trap set, I waited patiently. Was it recording? No way, I was not recording, man. Ah, uh, that was the best trap, and I missed it. I didn't record it. There was so much loot there. <laughs>